crowd on their feet to get this one going as Trimble takes it all the way to the rack. It's a Melbourne United team that guys aren't going to have to play 35 minutes a game, so he's going to be able to expend that energy on both sides. Hunt looks to take it through the chest of Long. Gets it to go. Of lowly passes to start this one off. Kay. Gets it to go against the length of Joe Quill. And against Taylor Britt, who's checked in a recent DP signing for Perth. All these guys getting a chance, but another, we've talked about the luxury of playing all these different players. Nick was also another DP, a strong move. Chris Golding's the best off balance shooter I've ever played with in my life, so what a great two to have on your team. Goulding pulls the trigger from the top, gets on it to go. He's on fire early, both inside and outside. Time to do. Vay gets the fighter to go, and Melbourne will take it quickly back the other way. And Chris Goulding loads it up, gets it to go. Massive bucket to end the first quarter there from Chris Goulding. Major gave him a tanning voucher. I do remember that. I do remember that. As Sean Long gets it down low, kicks it out to Casey Prather, who's going to work it and work it all the way to the hoop and gets it to go. Um, which I'm incredibly proud of that relationship with Tennis Australia to be able to do that as a club. Uh, and, and that game kind of belongs with the open roof as well this year. They're going to be splitting minutes, those two. So whichever one is in that backup role is your expert. I'm pretty much just covering the entire game there. As Bryce Cotton gets underway, we know he comes out. He doesn't see too many shots he doesn't like. And he's moving extremely well off the ball, which is nice for him. Long, just too easy down there against Hunt. Maybe we really are the epitome of the commentator's curse. Hunt. No one's getting in the way of that one down low. All the way to the paint. Kicks it out to Trimble. Can't get that one to go. Sprayther picks it up. We'll go all the way to the rack and give it up to Sean Long. Who throws it down? Look he better get, he better get himself over to Europe fairly quickly. Well, take out the Europe part of it, which you know he could probably play at that level, but being in a terms winner. of success, being yeah, a Miller winner. Miller gets that one to go. Being a winner. Another like, round one for Melbourne United. Pazoglu, the hot hand. Looks to go all the way. A good contest from Chris Golding, but can't get that one to go. Prather. Sure, long down the middle, he promised dunks, and that's what you're going to get. The pick and rolls tonight have been fantastic. Steindl attacking through the paint, kicks it out to Martin, who gives it back to Steindl. Probably a good decision to kick it out to their knockdown shooter, who gets it to go. Going at Steindl, finally get him open on that sideline, and bang, Steindl knocks it down. Finds Barlow on the perimeter. Bang! Just manages to hold his ground in the air to hang time and gets it to go. Well, it is as Cotton steadies the ship here. Gets it to Kay, who takes it in. Gets it to go. And it is a two-point game with a minute 35 to go. Gets it down to the potential MVP candidate in Nick Kay. Pushes his way through. Bullies his way through. Prather wasn't happy with it. He said there is... Probably nothing worse you could do in that situation. Big free throw for Bryce Cotton. And here he goes, Bryce Cotton. in the hands of Bryce Cotton. He's done it time and time again for the Wildcats. He's even done it against United before in the regular season. Up and under fake. Throws it up. Gets it to go. Banks it in. Goodness me, the what? bank is open. Are you kidding me? United with one last chance, one last roll of the dice. As Trimble from the corner. Can't get it to go. The Perth Wildcats come out of nowhere.